Okay, in this screencast we're going to have a look at how we can bring content from web pages into Ultranet for students to use. And the process involves adding an iframe to a collaborative space. So I've got a page here in my collaborative learning space where I'd like to add a storyboard generator from a, a website, the Acme website. And what I need to do is a couple of things. First of all, I need to add the application iframe to the page. So I go to the Add Applications menu and start to type in the word iframe and that tool will appear. Click on the Add button and the iframe is then added to our page. Now we can see that at the moment this iframe is quite small. In fact, it only takes up 30% of the layout. So what I need to do to make the best of the website that I'm bringing in is increase the layout of this page to be uh, one column. So what I'm going to do is go down to the Actions menu, up to Change Layout, and rather than having the column layout that I currently have, which is this one here, two columns, 30% and 70%, I'm going to go with one column, which takes up the entire real estate of that page so that my website has enough space on the page in which to exist. So I'll click on the Save button. And we'll see that the iframe will now have taken up the width of the page. And now whatever content I put in there is going to be easily navigatable by the students. So what I need to do now is go and get the URL from the website that I'm hoping to use. And this is it here, the Acme Storyboard Generator. So I'll just highlight that URL and copy that at the top of the page. Go back to my Ultranet page. Click on this line of text here to configure the iframe portlet and then paste that URL into the source URL column there. Now when I save that and wait for the success message, so there's the green tick telling me that I've been successful, I can now return to full page and I should see the Acme generator appear within that iframe and so now my students are able to access that website from within Ultranet and I'm hoping that they will use it to create a storyboard for a short advertisement video they're going to create. Now for me this um, iframe width wise is good, it takes up 100% of the space but when we look at the height of the iframe the students would be doing lots of navigating. So we can actually change the configuration of that iframe and show more of the website on the page. So if we go to the config button here and down to configuration. It will take us back to that um, dialog box we were in before and if we look at the advanced area down here we can see the code that determines the size of the frame that we're looking at and at the moment the height of that frame is 300 pixels. Now a pixel is a measurement and they're little dots and this the, from the top of the frame to the bottom of the frame represents 300. So after a while you get to know how big that is and we can just make some changes to adjust the height. So I'm going to try a thousand pixels and see what that looks like. So I'll just click on the save button. And then I've been successful so I'll return to full page. And um, when I scroll down I can see that now more of that website has appeared in the frame. Now what I usually aim to do when I'm changing the uh, size dimensions of the frame is try and get rid of this second scroll bar here. So within the iframe there's another scroll bar because not all of the um, website has appeared in the frame and sometimes um, students can find that a bit confusing or annoying that there are two scroll bars close together, the one for the main window of our browser and the one for the iframe. So when I'm resizing iframes, I try to make it such that I get rid of that. So I, a thousand wasn't enough. I need to go back into the configuration and have another try. So this time I'm going to add another 500 to that and make it 1500. Save that and see if I've been able to get the entire web page into the iframe. So I'll return to full page. And now... I've been able to get rid of that grey scroll bar that was in that right hand side there and my whole website is appearing in the 
iframes. So that's great because I'm expecting my students will spend a little bit of time on this website and I would like to make the use of that and the navigation of that easier for them. There's a couple of other things that I can do to improve that and one of them might be changing this text box in the top left corner here where it says iframe. So when I click on that, rather than it telling the students that it's an iframe, I can add some text here that might give them some direction for the task. So I'm going to write in, build your storyboard here. Now that um, you can put in a fair amount of text there, up to about here. I think it's about 75 characters, but I'm not sure. So I'm pretty happy with the layout of that, and that's how we add iframes and bring in outside website content to our spaces.